I have been obsessed with tiny house village. Not in just The Sims 4, but in real life too. So I want to build a tiny house village in The Sims 4 today, but every tiny house is going to be a different Ghibli movie. We know that everyone loves Ghibli, I love Ghibli, and you definitely should too. Ghibli is an animation studio from Japan. They are famously known for their beautiful traditional hand-drawn animation you know where they have to draw everything frame by frame every time i watch ghibli movies i feel transported into a different world i adore their beautiful landscapes and they're often set in a japanese countryside so i have built this tiny house village and they're inspired by japanese countryside we have five tiny houses in this village and i'm going to randomize each house with this wheel right here where i already have all of the ghibli movies that i know oh so, rolling for the first one which one do we get Kiki's delivery surface! I'm thinking of doing this house right here. I'm going to decorate her house with lots of flowers and it's gonna be reminding us of where Kiki came from, kind of. So I finished landscaping the exteriors of Kiki's house. So we're just going to use the roofing from the island living. Not the island living, it's a country living. It's the country living. We can replace the wall with the spandrels. I'm gonna draw like a half wall here. I'm going to use this platform from Parenthood, is it? I'm going to use this window from Snowy Escape. Maybe on this side I can use like a taller one. For the door, I'm going to use the same one from Snowy Escape. I'm going to place this one with a butterfly to symbolize Kiki flying. This is how it looks so far with all of the plants and everything. It's very planty and I am not even done yet. So Kiki has a black cat named Gigi. So I'm going to put this black cat on the porch. It's so cute. I'm gonna use this single sofa or single seating. So in the, one of the scenes in the movie, she was sitting outside in the field and kind of like stargazing. So I want to recreate that and I'm going to use this table to kind of symbolize the cloud. And I'm gonna have this black cat like right next to her as if like Gigi is sitting like right, right next to her. Kiki meet a woman named Ursula who paints her in the end. So I'm gonna put an easel here to kind of remind her of that. I'm also gonna add this cross stitching kit because Ursula was the one who saw together the doll cat in exchange for her. Cleaning the house <laughs> i would love to add like some brooms outside but i don't have a laundry day or realm of magic so if you guys have it maybe you guys can hang it somewhere there or just like place it in a random spot to make it more kiki you know the inside of the house is fairly small so i'm thinking of doing a toilet here kiki's bedroom maybe living and dining and kitchen here I'm going to start with the kitchen because I feel like it's gonna be the easiest. I'm thinking of using this one from No We Escape as well. I want to use this stove from Base Game. I want to go with like a bakery vibe. I definitely want to use this one from Country Living because it has like a menu, like in a bakery. Maybe we can use this kind of like um, scone slide. And for a while, I'm thinking of using this kind of orange stucco, at least in the kitchen area. We can delete this and replace it with like this free. And then I'm gonna put like a lot of cakes from the bakery because kiki is delivering the stuff from the bakery some barrels on the corner because it feels like a bakery kind of kitchen you will have barrels maybe for the flour some other ingredients i'm going to put this trash can like here i believe like the movie it was kind of like set up in a in europe kind of um 1950s i want to use this red color because it's like the color of kiki's ribbons just a simple wooden chair maybe something like this is there like a navy blue color Oh, looks so cozy. Maybe I can use something like this at the top. This is our Kiki's delivery kitchen inspired by the bakery and Kiki's color palette. I feel like it looks really nice. We got Kiki's big ribbon on the wall and yeah we're gonna go ahead and decorate our living room. I feel like this door from cats and dogs is always perfect for this kind of style. In her old house like before she moved out of the house she had like a big bookcase here and there so maybe that's what we're gonna build it out of so this is harder than i thought turns out kiki doesn't really have a life so i'm just gonna give her more ribbons maybe i can give her like this chair or maybe this one is even better i can give her this black cat rug size stuff from snowy escape okay kiki's living room is a little bit sad maybe we can give her something to do like around this side woodworking table because she was fixing like her broom by herself 
I also want to put this bike somewhere. In the movie, Tombo was showing her like his flying bike. Maybe the black color is nice. This looks like the town in the, the city. I haven't found a broom, but I found a plane. I'm gonna put it up here to represent Kiki's flying in the city. <laughs> I'm also gonna put like some cars again to represent the city. So this is Kiki's living room. There is a TV because there's TV in the movie. And I think in the 50s, there's already movies, uh, TVs like this one. And yeah, I quite like how vibey and cozy it is i don't think i've ever built anything like this yet let's go to kiki's bedroom okay so kiki's living room in the city is quite sad because it's like a leftover room and it has kind of like a wooden beam in the bedroom so i'm thinking to just use this one to represent that i think this is the best representative that we have in the game i'm not sure if we want to give her some more or do we just want to give her this it's looking pretty sad and i don't want her to be sad I'm just gonna use this suitcases to represent her moving out from her house and like starting her new life on her own. I actually want to give her this um, gramophone because it looks nice and she deserves nice things. Poor girl. She has something that kind of looks like this in one of the shots in the movie so I'm just gonna give her that. I'm gonna give her this kind of wardrobe thing. Okay, after changing it a thousand times, I came back to this cat bed again. Wardrobe on this side of the room with the mirror on the corner there. The theme of this room is dark and sad. <laughs> it's so sad in here. But this is Kiki's bedroom. It looks basically like this. In Kiki's old house, she kind of has like this kind of like stripe pattern rug. So I'm just gonna give her the same thing. So this is Kiki's bedroom. This is kind of a combination between her old house and also her new house in the city, which is a little bit sad and empty. So I did that perfectly purposefully we're gonna move on and continue to the bathroom i'm just gonna finish this off and i'm gonna do it off the camera i guess we are done this is kiki's deliveries bathroom it's inspired by her attic in the city and there's a picture of the countryside to remind her of where she came from so this is the final interior of how kiki's deliveries house looks like and i really like how it turns out it's basically not the style that i would build without doing this i hope you guys like it and in the next one we will randomize more and do the other house.